Hey everyone. You know. You know, when we were kids growing up, and even adults as well, we've always wanted, we were always hoping when VHS was the dominant force in media, we were always were hoping that someday a VHS company would come out and say, hey, let's bring out the entire series on VHS. Well, some studios and co some companies and studios did that. A good example would be Star Trek. And other shows like it, like Long, I think Star Trek, I think maybe a few other primetime shows I can't think of right now, and even some animated shows got that treatment as well. But when it came to the Disney shows, like the ones you see in front of you, everybody was always hoping for a complete set of them. Here's why. Here's why. A lot of these shows, after a while, would leave the off-air syndication on network television and head straight to cable or into obscenity, or into obscurity, I should say. So you would always hope to have some kind of connection, some kind of grasp, some kind of remembrance. You would want something there to remind you that show existed or was around. Now, of course, if you had cable, you had the Disney Channel, and of course, in 1994, you had a thing called the Disney Block Party, which was basically a more revamped version of the Disney Afternoon, basically going back to its roots. Even taking the same format of, hey, oldest show on Disney Afternoon leaves, become the newest show on the Block Party, oldest show on the Block Party leaves, or something like that. And that happened. That indeed happened. But still, unless you were able to record every episode of every Disney Afternoon show that was ever represented by the Disney Afternoon, or even its predecessor, One Saturday Morning, then, the o then that, then the only way you could ever hope to see those episodes again. The only way you could ever hope to see those shows again or those episodes, like I said, either have cable on the Disney Channel or by some miracle hope maybe you could find something on the internet that you could download. Because one of the new because at that same time, which was around the late nineties, when D V D started to make itself known the only way you could ever hope for, to see these shows, of course, were on DVD. But at that time, like I said, DVD was just making itself known. And only were they, and there was only planning stages at that time to bring animated and live action shows, complete series versions, versions of animated live action shows to DVD. Just like it is with Blu-ray. When Blu-ray started around, same thing. Even though some shows and animated shows were already released completely on DVD, the decision was and still was being made to try to release those shows onto Blu-ray. Completely onto Blu-ray, I should say. But you see, when DVD first came around... And I just ignore that stuff. I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, when DVD first came around and the concept was being discussed to do animated to do to release live action and animated shows um, basically when the concept was being discussed asked if you will the only answer they ever gave Ave for a possibility was to do it in volumes just like they used to do on VHS but you see the bigger difference though was with VHS, you only got maybe one or three episodes, four at the most, but mainly three, three one or three, three, as at average, and like I say, four at the most. With DVD, though, they realized they had more room, more space, it was digital, 
and basically they could do they could release more episodes with it. So when they tested this out, they only tested it out with maybe one volume, and that volume would probably have six, maybe ten episodes, and that's it. And if it was a success, they released another volume, and if that was a success, they would release one more, and if all three of those maybe ten episode volumes were a success, they would say, okay, let's do a complete series release, end of story. And sometimes they would also do a complete series release in parts, or in, case, in some cases, volumes. So that way, you can get a taste of what to expect. So, for example, right here, all these here say volumes. Like, here's Volume 1 of Gummy Bears, Volume 1 of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Volume 1 of Tailspin, and Volume 1 of Dark Green Duck. Now, right here, you have Volume 2 of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. You also have Volume 2 of Dark Green Duck, Volume 2 of Tailspin, Volume 2, 3, and 4, I think, or 2 and 3 of Duck, Duck Tales, which also has a Volume 1. And the only one that has yet to have another volume added to it is Gummy Bears. But, of course, as if you probably have heard over the summer, Disney Movie Exclusives, or the Disney Movie Club, through its exclusive, uh, through its Disney Movie Club Exclusives, has completed the Tailspin set, obviously has also completed the DuckTales set, and is on the verge, I think, of completing the other sets as time goes on. Now, what does that have to do with what I'm talking about here? Well, it's very simple. You see, even to this day, DVD and Blu-ray, there's a lot of live-action and animated shows uh, from certain studios and companies that are still either that are either going to get the complete release set, or you're going to just get volumes because the show's that big. And of course, if a show is 65, vol 65 episodes plus, 65 episodes and sometimes 65 episodes plus, you're bound to get multiple volumes, even if it's DVD or Blu-ray, because you're going to only put so many. But of course, if you're fortunate enough to own something like, say, a DVD recorder, or if you're very fortunate enough to record something like a, own something like a Blu-ray recorder or whatever, you don't have to worry about it too much. Because you see, a lot of people are able to get the complete series, if you will, of a show that they've wanted, completed on DVD or Blu-ray or even VHS, through that. And like I was saying earlier, and like I was saying earlier, if you were able to record each and every episode of the Disney Afternoon shows that I mentioned on VHS, only that way would you be able to have the complete series. Yeah, it would take you a while to transfer them to DVD if you could do that, but at least you would have the complete series. But if you weren't fortunate enough to do that, but you were able to catch up with them later on, let's say with Toon Disney, then the possibility of VHS was still there, especially in the late 90s, these early 2000s. But in the early to mid-2000s, we were also introduced to another method, another option of getting the series that we wanted. Now, like I said, VHS, was VHS recording was and still is prominent in some ways. Because it's probably the only way people can afford to record some shows sometimes. Or record movies sometimes. But, back in the early 2000s, basically around 2002, 2003, and into the mid-2000s, we were introduced to the DVD recorders. The DVD recorders were basically just like v were basically the DVD version of VHS. Basically, you took a recordable disc, just like a CD-R, but in this case it was a DVD plus R, or DVD plus RW, or DVD-R, or DVD-R, W or DVD plus RL, you, you get the idea. But mainly, but mainly for better quality, DVD plus R, you would take that, you would take that disc, place it into your DVD recorder, 
and be able to record up to six hours worth of programming. Or nowadays, if you have a DVD recorder like, say, mine, the Sony, which is a Sony brand, they're well, like mine, which is a Sony brand, you can record up to almost 14 hours worth of programming. The only difference is if you go up by quality, especially into the 14 hours, you can still see the picture, but the bit rate will be very, very low. You see, when you get to 6 hours, the bit rate gets between 1 and 2 bits, and whatever. You get to the 13, 14 hour deal, and you're between 1 and 0 bits, if you get my, get my drift. 1.0, 1 point whatever bits, and 0 point whatever bits if you get into the 13 hours 40 second mark, or 13 hours 40 minute mark, near 14 hours I should say. But mainly, but mainly Jews to give us access to possibly 13 hours, mainly was our, was the DVD equivalent of VHS. And just like with and just like when DVDs were released, and just like when DVD players and DVD uh, DVD versions of movies and shows were released, it too, after the recording was done, gave you the option of not having to fast forward a tape. It gave you the better option of not having to fast forward a tape to a certain episode. It gave you the option of having a menu, being able to name what um, be able to name, name uh, what part of, the, like what, it basically gave you a menu, and on that menu you could name each box, if it was an episode, after that episode's name. So like say Rescue Rangers, one of my personal favorite episodes is Double O Chipmunk. You could put on there Double O Chipmunk. There you go. That was the best, that was a great option that DVD recorders, and I think even Blu-ray recorders, have given you. The fact that you get a menu, you can name, uh, the, you can actually put the name of the episode under the recorded uh, programming or episode or movie. And, again, just unlike VHS though, and again, unlike VHS, you didn't have to rewind to get to a certain part in an episode. You could... I mean, not we want, but fast forward to get to a certain part in an episode, you could actually just use the remote and go right to that chapter. Like, okay, if you knew, a, like, let's say you knew a scene was coming up between the five minute mark, the first, in the first five minutes, go right to the five minute mark, scoot down a little bit, there you go. Nothing, nothing could be easier. And again, that's exactly the option. And again, that is why a lot of people have always hoped for shows like Disney Afternoon shows to be fully released on DVD and, if not possible, Blu-ray. I mean, Zero Nazarak said it best about the Blu-ray kind of releases. You could take shows like, say, you could take these shows, the ones right in front of you here, and you could actually put these on Blu-ray. Actually, when you look at this, this is a three, each of these are about three sets. But according to what he said, you could actually take these and reduce them maybe to two, if not one, you know, one D, one set. That's it. It would only be like one disc or two disc, one or two disc, if you will, and the series would be completely complete. If you know what I mean. Maybe four. Maybe four. Maybe four di Maybe these three discs and one more would be this complete series, not six or nine or whatever. But now you probably ask, okay, we understand what you're trying to get to, but what does this have to do with these here? Once, well, like I said, once, well, like I said, like with VHSs, the DVD recording option recorders, as well as the Blu-ray ones, if they're around, which I'm sure they are, I've seen them, I've heard and seen them. Uh, basically, like I said with VHS, they give you the most of them, with a few exceptions, like with mine give you that six hour, if not 13, near 14 hour recording option. Now what it also does, was, was gave you the option then and now of actually getting the complete series of something on DVD even before the series is released officially on DVD or even as the series is released on DVD 
It allows you to have the complete series before the series is completely released. I know, kind of confusing there, right? Get, okay, let me give you an example. Rescue Rangers here, if you will, this is only the first 54, 51 episodes. It's a 65 episode deal. So you got 51 here, and you need about 14 more. So that would basically be about a two disc set, right? Well, I started recording this on DVD when I had my Apex recorder. And even continued on with my ILO. And guess what? Through both recorders, I have the complete series. All the episodes right here, right here, if you will, on DVD. All the episodes, including a best up. That's right. And they're all recorded on the LP mode or EP mode, six, EP six hour mode. And all the episodes, the complete series is on four discs. Four discs through EP six hour mode. Now if I wanted to do what obviously they have done and go with the two and a half hour mode of just not the four hour or close to four, let's just say about two and a half hours, if not four hours, then it'll be a little bit more but there would be more discs. You'd probably have two, maybe four, maybe six di four or six discs here. You would. You have about four or six discs. Well, actually, well, this is six discs, but you would actually have maybe about six discs worth of the complete series and then an additional disc of my bet, which I call the best of. So yeah, that's basically what you would have. But essentially on five different discs, I should correct myself, not four, but five different discs is the complete series. So it's no different than getting the near complete series on what would be eight discs. The only difference is it's down by three. And you can pretty much figure out what uh, recording mode or whatever mode they use to get all the discs on, to get all the episodes on their discs. Now another advantage is you're able to all, now another advantage of getting your favorite Disney afternoon shows or Disney afternoon one Saturday morning shows on DVD is being a now the I, I, what, what I'm trying to say is the uh, the other advantage of the D, of DVD recorders and VHS recorders or is when it comes to your favorite when it comes to getting complete series versions of your favorite Disney afternoon shows growing up is you can get the shows you watched growing up even if they're not been really even if they haven't been released for example this here is mighty ducks this is mighty ducks now i have some other episodes downloaded on a on, downloaded on a dvd rom i have to add on later on to end of the disc but this is mighty ducks right here this is mighty ducks this is this was basically supposed to be the first and maybe six discs or five discs worth, if not less, of the Mighty Ducks series. That was what it was supposed to be. The same with Tailspin, and this was before, and this was before this and the other two volumes. And this was supposed to be, again, the start of, of course, multiple discs of the complete series. And some of the episodes I have on here were released on here and on the other volumes. And of course you have 101 Dalmatians. This is a two disc set, not the complete series. The complete series would probably take up maybe three or four more episodes, if not be a five disc thing. And this was before they released Dalmatian Vacation, the finale, on VCD. And before they released Christmas Cruella on VHS. Well, actually, Christmas Cruella was on VHS, but I think this is before, this is after the, it was kind of in between, basically. Another advantage as well is you can also get something that you know companies like Disney will not do unless it's called for, and that's get, compl and that's get basically get compilations of different episodes from different series. Like here, 
I have Goof Troop and Tailspin. This was going to be the first of maybe many volumes or many discs of both series together. As you can see, this was going to be the first of many. But it didn't happen that way. But you kind of get my drift of where I was going with this. You see, the point I'm trying to make is with DVD recorders and even VHS recorders, you can get basically the shows that you never thought you could have complete access to or have complete access to, in other words, have all the complete series. This is what fans want companies like Disney to do. They want Disney to take what I'm showing you and officially release them on DVD and if not somehow on Blu-ray. That's what they want. I mean, you take a look, another one of my favorites, I should say, is Bonkers. This was supposed to be, just like the other ones I showed you, the start of many volumes. And just like some of them, like Mighty Ducks, Rescue Rangers, I had recorded an entire VHS worth of Bonkers. But I left that in Kansas. My mistake. But that has some of the episodes on there. And again, there has not been no official Bonkers DVD release at all. The only way you could get it is if somebody like me or anybody else had recorded this, the entire series on VHS, transferred it to DVD, or if recorded the entire series on Toon Disney, gained access to some of the episodes that had been lost or taken off the air and added on later on, either with different, language, country, different languages from different countries or whatever, and offered for, and put up for sale on sites like eBay or iOffer. That's the only way you can get, a, not official, but basically complete series versions of Bonkers and other Disney Afternoon shows like 101 Dalmatians, Asians, if you will, Mighty Ducks, you name it. And another thing about DVD recorders and VHS recorders, for, another thing that makes them a, makes DVD recorders and basically makes media recorders like DVD and VHS and Blu-ray, friends, good friends or good companion pieces, if you will, for Disney Afternoon fans, long-time fans, is you can also make compilations, like I said with, like I showed you with uh, Goof Troop and Tailspin together, it also allows you to make good compilations of shows sort of in a best kind of thing, like I did with Rescue Rangers. Like here, this is my Best of Bonkers DVD. And on here we have the pilot episode, uncut version of Going Bonkers. We have the sequel, transitional episode called New Partners on the Block. One of my personal favorites episodes, Castle Bonkers, and some fan vids that I made. Stuff that, as Zero Nizarak put it, you would not really see on any official release. So there you go. And then another thing is it allows you to actually, in your mind, in my mind, allow you to make your own version of what you would feel would be, be the Bonkers movie. And this is what I call Bonkers the movie and slash new partners on the block. Basically think of it this way. Think of it like the Mighty Ducks animated movie, direct-to-video animated movie of the Mighty Ducks cartoon. They use three separate episodes one that basically didn't really have any connection to the first face-off part, first face-off parts one and two, which was duck, which was duck hard, but basically connected it to make it one full feature. That's basically how I did this. Almost, I could have done it, but I didn't. But basically, how I made it, I had uncut bonkers, going bonkers pilot, and then I have new bar, new partners on the block, which is the sequel. On there. Basically, my point is, ladies and gentlemen, is, again, my point is, VHS media recorders, DVD and VHS recorders, are giving, have given, are, have, and are giving Disney, long-time Disney Afternoon fans what they want, and what they want Disney to officially do. That's what they're doing. And another final example, if you will, 
is this. I called this my Disney Movies DVD volume. This is the first volume I did. And on here, we have new partners on the block, of course. Gargoyles Awakening, Gargoyles Hunter's Moon, Aladdin Seems Like Old Crimes uh, miniseries, Gummy Bears King Eggthorn miniseries finale, and the miniseries version, edited version, of Plunder and Lightning. And that's something that a lot of fans, believe it or not, would love Disney to do. They would love them to release something to where you have all the miniseries, all the best miniseries, best Disney Afternoon miniseries, either the finales, season premieres, whatever, pilots, they want to see them on DVD, if not together, together, if not separate. They want to see it. And again, that is what makes a lot of these media and DVD recorders a Disney Afternoons, a Disney after, a long time Disney Afternoon fans great companion pieces. Because they give, they allow you to do what Disney has yet to do and what fans are demanding they do. And true, Disney is listening because you have Tailspin complete now. All you have to do is go to Disney Movie Club, go to the exclusive site, and pretty much buy, as a member, the third and final volume. They're doing the same with the Gargoyle set. They're doing the same with DuckTales. But the other sets we don't know yet. They got Goof Troop out now in two volumes so far. They got the Weekenders. But the thing is, it's, it's not being... It, the, thing, the, the thing is, as happy as that will make fans knowing that those are being released, the, the disadvantage is you have to be a member. Now, I'm a member. So I have the advantage of being able to do that. But the point is... You shouldn't have to worry about being a member of anything. You should basically have the, uh, the company, whether it's Disney or whoever, say, hey, you know what? Let's not make these member club member exclusives. Let's distribute them to the entire populace. Let's give it to the entire fan base. And that is why me DVD recorders, VHS, and now DVD and Blu-ray recorders are a Disney Afternoon fan's best companion piece. Or basically have the advantage over official releases because they allow you, because they have, because they have and still allow you to get complete versions of the series even if there's no official version. So to me, if Disney wants to take back the mark the video marketplace and show that they can give the fans what they want, then Disney then you know what? They need to start finishing off the Disney Afternoon set so that people, even though they love relying on the DVD recorders, even though they love relying on them, can say, hey, look, you want us to give you the money for these instead of doing what we're doing? Here you go. But that's basically what I have to say on that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. But tell me if you agree or not, and if I sound like I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all later. God bless. Take care.